Hi guys, in this video we're going to explore the difference between PBR and non-PBR content in Character Creator 2.0. So essentially I'll explain what is PBR content and what isn't, how to distinguish between the two, and also how to convert non-PBR content to PBR. Character Creator comes with a couple of embedded PBR characters so you can take a look for yourself. You'll notice that when I cycle through the materials, they'll all have PBR selected under the shader type. If you want to get a better look at the PBR textures, you can also use Ctrl, Shift, and I to rotate your IBL light source. Let's bring in some clothing from our new Assassins pack and take a look. Notice that all of the PBR compatible clothing items will have a PBR indicator on the thumbnail. Now if you want to get rid of the clothing that appears underneath, that which you've just added, you can simply right click and select the item you want to delete, and then press delete. Let's zoom in a bit and rotate our IBL to get a closer look at all the detail on these pants. You can really see the realism and unique effect of light on the PBR materials. I'm going to throw on some gauntlets as well, and you can notice from the thumbnail and drop down menu on the right that they're also PBR compatible. Notice the exquisite detail that can only be found in a PBR material as I zoom in on the laces. I'll throw in a nice battle corset and warrior top here quickly as well. Again, we can right click and delete any unwanted layers underneath. Now the metallic top is where you can see the PBR materials really shine. Check out the subtle glittering effect off the metallic scales as I rotate the IBL light source again. The amount of lighting detail that we can achieve with PBR textures is impressive. So what about non-PBR or traditional materials? Well, let's take a look at how we can convert that to PBR as well. Here on the screen I have a basic dress with none of the items having PBR texture maps. Let's take a look at the shoes first. You can see that the shader type assigned is traditional right now. If we switch that over to PBR, we'll now have different texture channels, including roughness and metallic, where the old specular and reflection maps used to be. Let's open up the Adjust Color panel for the metallic texture channel. If we pump up the brightness, you'll notice a very subtle effect, but the roughness map is still too bright. So let's click on that channel and decrease the brightness level. When we do that, there is now a marked effect on the shoes as they look much shinier. We can enhance that specular highlight by further increasing the brightness of the metallic map. Once we've really enhanced the shininess, when we increase the roughness value now, you can notice the surface look a lot rougher. Let's take a look at doing the same thing for the skin now. First, let's apply a non-PBR skin template to our character. Again, under all the skin materials, you can see they are assigned a traditional shader with the specular and reflection maps there. Let's swap those over to PBR now by control clicking both and choosing the PBR material mode. You can see now if we adjust the brightness slider to a lower value that we get the same effect on the skin of our character, almost like a sheen of sweat or oil on the skin. With skin like this, the rotation of the IBL is very noticeable via the reflections on the character's nose, cheeks, and forehead. Let's move on to the hair now. PBR hair looks a lot better, as you will soon see. We can apply this shorter, less traditional female haircut and change it to a less traditional PBR shader mode as well. The original hair looks kind of dry or fluffy, so let's make it look a bit more sleek. In PBR mode, you can see that it gets maybe a little too sleek, but you may also notice a few artifacts hanging around the strands of hair near the front. This can be solved by going up to Edit, then Preferences, and then enabling MipMap under your real-time render options. You'll notice those strand areas get cleaned up quite significantly. First, let's address that oily hair by going to increase the brightness of the roughness map a little bit. We can adjust it to just the right amount to get a more realistic, healthy looking sheen. I gotta say, she looks like she's really ready for a shampoo commercial. Finally, let's address the drab clothing she's wearing. It's essentially the same procedure. Just convert to PBR shader mode, then adjust the brightness value of the roughness texture map for a very subtle realism enhancement. So even though the PBR enhancements are really cool, there's an even quicker way that we can convert everything on the character at once. So I'm going to bring in a custom project I like to call the Sexy Astronaut. 
You'll notice on the right that all the materials are set to a traditional shader mode as well. So what you can do instead of going one by one is there is a general convert button at the top of all the materials. And here you'll have the option to select convert all materials. You'll notice right away an enhancement to the materials, particularly on her left hand side. And notice that now all the shader modes have been set to PBR instead of traditional. If we want to make her cat suit really disco, then we can repeat the same procedure as before by first multiple selecting the upper and lower dress materials and increasing the metallic look all at once, and then taper it off a bit by doing the same with the brightness settings of the roughness texture. And there you have it. Now she's ready to disco dance the night away. So now you can go ahead and do the same thing for all your own traditional characters and give them that visual enhancement boost.